right, up to the, up to the first lake now. And just been in a chat with a really nice guy. He's down there on the, uh, on the shingle with his little one. And uh, his ex-Royal Signals. <coughs> so this is where the path splits off here and heads up where, so that way round carries on towards the lake. And I'm gonna carry on up here. And, hmm. <coughs> Devil's Kitchen bound. Well worth doing just for the views. And the wind. It's going to take a while. Keep standing and staring at the scenery. It's brilliant. Absolutely stunning along here. He said, nearly falling uphill. And ever changing oil painting. Look, Owen. This is a long way to come for a hot chocolate. The path meandered from side to side to make the climb more palatable, although there were parts where you had to take a steep leg up. Right, from the shelter of this lovely rock now, and it's a cracking view behind here, look. Look at that. Look at the way that drops away, look. That's Anglesey, that's the Menai Straits, just over there, you can see it. Right, it's time to keep heading up there. It looks fantastic, the, the light that's catching it. was steady but you had to be aware when walking in between the stepped areas. The mountain starts to take on a different shape, rocks jutting out on either side of me. Light changing made it irresistible and I found myself taking photos of almost every opportunity. We're nearing one of the summits now. A little bit of scrabbling to do now and again. But on the whole the path is really good. Unbelievable views, look at that down there. And down there as well.
the cloud coming over there. So I'm going to go up this track now, carry on up there and across the top where that guy up there is. This looked like it was the remains of a small shelter used by a shepherd. Apart from me puffing and panting, the wind dropped. It's silent. There's two little lakes just down there, look. And you can hear wildlife on them as well. You can hear birds singing. Me panting. But I'm taking it easy, I'm resting and I'm not going mad. Look at that. The way the light catches all the top of that there. The <coughs> cloud is sweeping up over there. Can you see that? It looks really quite impressive. See that now? Move my head out of the way. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting a bit closer to that to do some filming. So it just shows you that the, as the wind comes up it's uh, coming up through that valley which is over there and then obviously it's sweeping up and then like sort of going up over the crest and, uh, and then blowing. But, um, it's, you can see what the addiction is when people start doing this uh, as a serious hobby. It is amazing. What's that I hear you say? Stunning. Oh I. Listen to that now. Silent. As promised, I got the camera steady and filmed the clouds sweeping over the ridge and obscuring the direction that I was headed. I wasn't the only one who stopped to take in the views and a much needed breather in between climbs. Back up over the ridge now. forget as um, <clears throat> as you're climbing higher is you get out of breath as well because of the altitude that's amazing that is the light the way it's going across the valley floor uh, you can see the track where I've come up it's not a bad walk at all actually I can do it and I'm a bit of a fatty so if I can haul 17 stone up here and, uh, right over in the distance I, I don't know whether you'll be able to see that but I'll try that is Penmon it's going out of focus I don't know whether everybody drops one there as they walk up, as in a stone. I think I might do it myself actually. <coughs> get yon stone, I'll get two. Because my buddy can't make it at the moment. So there's one for me, and this one's for you, Owen. There you go, bud. Brilliant. Brilliant! Just a bit of loose to cut.
cover um, to get up to the top now you can see where I've come from but it's not bad even though it's loose it's not bad at all it's, it's pretty sure underfoot Just through there I can see uh, Newborough Forest, just through there. The clouds coming across here now but earlier I could see, that's Bomaris over there and then along there I could see Penmon and then I could see Puffin Island and that. Uh, lovely the way this cloud comes across here. Anyway, this is where we're heading, up side of that track and then just over to that summit there and then hopefully we'll start going across. There's some people right at the top of there, three people. I'm not alone. that about me at school. Always had my head in the clouds, never focusing. It's nice the way it all leads a merry dance, doesn't it? Yeah, look, coming over. Are we there yet? Are we there now? The ridge now took on a steeper appearance with the land sweeping downward in either direction but not unpleasant and I was glad of the level walk if only for a few minutes. The three walkers that passed me by had quickly become specks again in the distance. I then started to get views of all things winged, mechanical and natural. It's come and landed next to me while I'm having a brew. What a stunning bird. He definitely deserves a treat, don't he really for that? I'll give him a bit of uh, give him a bit of ham off my sandwich in a minute. At the moment I'm just finding it difficult to stop filming him, he's just so magnificent, look at that, yeah look at wow, that, that was absolutely amazing, I have never seen anything like that before, I can see him, he's right up over the top now, up there, so he's come all the way down seeing me and then just plonked himself right next to me. That was just stunning. 
absolutely stunning. <clears throat> It's kind of the last place you'd think where you'd sort of get wildlife coming up for treats, you know. But well, they are born survivors, aren't they? You know. Hey dear, that was ace. All the jets are out and about now. Just had a tornado fly through the valley there. Nice. <clears throat> Look at the lovely blue sky. Look at that now. That's where I'm going, just up there. Just. But yeah, up there. Not far off the summit now, and uh, the couple down there, I was just talking to them, and uh, they said, the views over here are oh, fantastic and um, she's got a little baby on her back there and I just think that is absolutely fantastic really good why not you know the view of these lakes down here look right this is where we've got to go there, up there so we'll have a look and see what's on the other side of there now. I was hoping for good visibility and I wasn't disappointed. Wow. <coughs> wow. There's Snowden, can you see it? There. <clears throat> Down there, that, that, that's Lamberis. And right over there, that, that's Anglesey, with Carnarfon there, um, Newburgh Forest, Again, amazing views. And look at that, look at the, the way the cloud is just casting its shadows across the hills there. This is absolutely amazing. I wasn't expecting this view. I'm taken aback. I mean, <clears throat> right over in the distance, over there, there's like three peaks together that go like that. That's Treffer on the uh, Clean Peninsula. And that there, that's down towards Barmouth, down there. Like I say, you can see. Newburgh Forest, um, the Warren, um, oh, <laughs> it's amazing, absolutely amazing. <clears throat> I wasn't uh, prepared for this. This is brilliant. Owen, buddy, we are coming up here together, mate. We are definitely coming up. Just me, or does anyone feel like doing a Julie Andrews at the moment? Just had a video chat with me buddy Owen, and uh, shown him some of the views that we've got. Gutted that he can't be with me today, but I wanted to try and share with him at least some of the joys that I'm getting at the uh, 
<laughs> wow, <laughs> that was a fair drop. Way. Hey, um, yeah, I just wanted to share some of this with him because uh, I know he wants to be involved in stuff like this. Right, it's very windy, so I'm gonna gonna knock this off now. I've lost a glove, gutted, didn't cost loads anyway because eBay's a wonderful thing. So I've uh, just at that little break up there I've just gone on eBay and ordered another pair, which was nice. Don't know if you can hear that, but uh, skylarks are calling. That's the style. Here we are at the lake. Water's crystal clear. Beautiful. I'm not going to hang about here. I'm just going to keep going. But uh, that's the track where I've come down from, all the way down there and then across there <clears throat> and this is the lake that you could see if you look at that water it's just pure clear stunning and there's weed as well there's oxygen weed and reeds and things over there so it's uh, it must be supporting some life Right, I'm now going to head up um, <coughs> in that direction, off and over there, so let's get on with it. My friend's back. He's something else, isn't he? Just following these tracks now across 
up and it's supposed to split but I'll decide whether I'm going to the left or to the right going to the left means heading back home and going to the right means carrying on a bit more weather's good I feel okay I don't want to push myself you know <clears throat> my knee joint I don't want to push it too much you know I've enjoyed what I've done so far and then kind of got that <clears throat> quit while you're ahead thought in me so I'll just see Kind of makes you feel like you're on top of the world a bit. But I'm going to uh, I'm going to make a steady track down. Actually, I've got enough footage for uh, for a film now. Look at that. <coughs> so there's a uh, Clinog wind there, look, and uh, Clint Edwell. And that little track you can see just to the side of it, look, there. I'll eventually go down and meet that, but this is the way I'm going to traverse down here now. So, next start. <coughs> and that. <coughs> This path is really, well it's not even a path. <clears throat> but it's not bad what they've done with it, they've stepped it. So it's uh, a lot better on the old uh, joints. One thing I have learnt is uh, don't rush, take it nice and steady. There's a lot of stuff that's been quite loose and as long as you keep your feet nice and sure, look where you're going and not rush. But uh, so far so good. This is a bit where I go. Definitely hear water anyway. Right, let's get down these steps. The valley stretched out before me and the sides of each mountain hugged my vision, making it an amazing panoramic sight. The walkers before me gave me a perspective to cling to as I continued downward. A sort of reed-like grass grew because of the moisture found on the slopes. Now you would have to be good to uh, climb up that because it's uh, soaking. The water's run through the, the grass and the soil at the top and, and then it just runs down. Let's go and have a look and see if we can uh, See this waterfall it's just to the left here because obviously that's the path going down but the path here in front of me seems to be worn so I'm guessing wow there's a path right across there oh, okay Owen would still take pictures of it.
How was that, Owen? Did it flick your switch? The path became slightly obscure amongst the loose rock, but a helpful indicator was the scratch marks on stones made by previous hikers and their walking poles was like a beacon that lit the way. So keeping one eye on the views and one on the track, I continued my descent. sheltered in from the wind right against the crags and it's so quiet listen you can hear a moth fart <coughs> This is fair warm, you know. And you, you kind of you want to look around you and take in some of the scenery, but you've really got to watch where you're putting your feet. <clears throat> so if the camera is a bit all over, <clears throat> health and safety. It amazes me that somebody has painstakingly put this path together, you know. Obviously I'm using the local stone and everything, but somebody's had to have had an idea. Probably like old tracks adopted from centuries ago from shepherds that have used it all the time. I don't think I'll be able to get upstairs tonight. I might keep on the sofa. <laughs> now, I, I, to be honest, I feel good. Lichens and heathers are dotted in the nooks and the crannies as I meander downward. You know, the weird thing is, is I can actually smell the goats and the sheep, you know, travelling on the air. It's amazing how keen your senses come when it gets so quiet up here, because um, there's some people over the lake there, and they're talking, and they're quite a distance away, but you can hear their voices, and they'll probably be able to hear me now. Let's not slag them off then. <coughs> so, there we are some goats and some sheeps. There's a sheep. And then just above there you can see one of the goats there. And then just up there there's three goats there. Owen, I've got a treat for you. Near it.
Can you believe that I have walked down that? I have come down through that there. So there's the tree where the waterfall is there. And I've come from that side. I've come all the way down there. <laughs> Get in. That's an achievement that is. It really is. <coughs> right. We are nearly there. path now took on a more familiar setting as I neared the end of my journey. On the lake some Canada geese have made it a temporary home to breed during the summer months. So, <clears throat> I'm back down on the level track now. So I've come from right up there, down, down, these, down these tracks here. And where I started off, uh, where I split from, is just there. Uh, I went up that way and then carried on up, um, <clears throat> up onto the track there, and then kept on going up, uh, right up and over, and then up and over the top there. Well, I'm nearly back now. I just want to say thanks for tuning in. Uh, it's been a great experience walking up there. And <clears throat> I hope you tune in to another travel vlog. So um, might be having a go at uh, part two and go from Trivan and go up sort of that way and meet in the middle where I came down today. So, Right, cue some titles and uh, any funny bloopers or daftage that I've uh, recorded. I don't think there's much actually, you can't do much on your own, but anyway. My van is there, in the corner, and the kettle needs going on, so thanks again, take care, bye. The hills are alive with the sound of Griswolds. You know how nice it is to walk on something flat for a change. I must be half my nut. Hmm. That's that's an impressive walk. <clears throat> Not quite in the clouds though, but along the top. Knickers, knackers, knockers. <coughs>